Megan Good and Devon Franklin shocked the world when they announced that they were filing for divorce. But we finally know what really happened in the marriage and why Megan just couldn't stand being married to him for one more minute. So, why did she grow to resent Devon so much? And, did Devon really try to force her to stay? Ever since Megan Good and Devon Franklin filed for divorce, people have been in shock because everybody saw them as the couple that was going to live happily ever after. But then they left everyone speechless in December 2021 when they each posted a statement on Instagram that said, After much prayer and consideration, we have decided to go into our futures separately but forever connected. We celebrate almost a decade of marriage together and a love that is eternal. There's no one at fault. We believe this is the next best chapter in the evolution of our love. We are incredibly grateful for the life-changing years we have spent together as husband and wife. We are also extremely thankful to God for the testimony being created inside us both and for blessing our lives with each other. While this was shocking, there had been a few hints in the days leading up to the announcement. Like this post that Megan made on her Instagram stories that said, healing isn't pretty, but the other side is freaking beautiful. In addition, there had been rumors that Megan had stopped wearing her wedding ring since November 2021, but nobody really thought much of it. Then an anonymous source revealed that Megan and Devon had been separated since August 2021, and they tried to work on their marriage throughout the separation, but ultimately decided that divorce was the best option for them. One thing that stood out to people about the divorce is the fact that Devon was the one who filed for divorce, not Megan, and everyone was wondering why he would want to divorce Megan when she was pretty much every man's dream. She is beautiful, super successful, and unlike most actresses who have been in the industry for as long as she has, she hasn't had any major scandal in her career. Since she announced the divorce, there have been speculations about what could possibly have happened, and after all this time, it looks like we finally have some answers because some anonymous sources have spoken up and revealed what actually happened in the marriage. Now, for those who don't know Devon Franklin is actually a church minister, and when they got married, Megan immediately became a minister's wife, and according to some sources, it was a role that she never quite felt comfortable in. She never felt like she fit into the description of what everybody expected a minister's wife to be. And although Devon did his best to make her feel at ease and be supportive, it still caused a strain in their marriage. Even though Megan was spiritual before she met Devon, he was still way more spiritual than she was, and from the very start, she had to make some compromises that she didn't really want to but had to because Devon was a minister. For example, Megan had to go celebrate throughout her relationship with him because, as a minister, he wanted to wait until marriage. Some sources revealed that this was not exactly what Megan wanted but she agreed to wait because she loved Devon so much. Also, there have been speculations that Megan's marriage to Devon hindered her career in some ways because, as a minister's wife, she had to be selective about the kind of movies that she appeared in and could no longer take on some daring roles like she did before her marriage. Her roles were limited because she was too selective, and we all know how Hollywood gets when an actor or actress gets too selective with what roles they accept. While she was lucky not to get blackballed, top roles were not exactly falling at her feet after a while. Now, Megan herself has not exactly addressed this, but as someone who has been open about her love for acting, it's not hard to see how this compromise may have been difficult for her. We're not saying that she's a struggling actress because she was certainly booked, but a source close to her claimed that Megan felt bad every time she had to turn down a role because of how it would make her husband and the church feel. She also had to give up smoking and drinking, at least in public for the same reason. But to be fair to Devon, Megan was not the only one who had to make sacrifices for their relationship and marriage to work out because he also had to make some compromises as well. For example, Devon had always wanted a woman who wasn't a celebrity because of how private he is. But then we all know that Megan didn't fit this description at all because she was a famous actress who was always getting swarmed by paparazzi and was always in the news for the smallest thing. So Devon had to come to terms with the fact that Megan and him, by extension, would always be in the news for one reason or another. Now, at the time of the divorce, there were rumors going around that the real reason for the divorce is that Devon is secretly gay and only married Megan so that he could use her as a cover. Some people thought that it was weird that they didn't have kids together after nine years of marriage and that Megan got tired of covering up for him and that's why she really left him. But there's no evidence to prove this and we simply can't conclude that he is gay just because they didn't have kids. Megan leaving Devon had nothing to do with his sexuality and had everything to do with the fact that she was frustrated and felt like she had given up way too much for the marriage. Interestingly, it was Devon and not Megan who filed for divorce and a lot of people took this as a sign that he was the one who wanted out of the marriage and dumped Megan. But sources claim that this is not in any way true and that the divorce was a mutual agreement. The source also added that Megan insisted that Devon be the one to file for divorce because she knew that she would be eaten alive on social media for divorcing a pastor. She didn't want to get bullied for leaving a pastor and that is why she made Devon file. So to those speculating that he dumped her, that is simply not true. For those who still somehow don't believe, in the weeks following the announcement, Megan shared a lot of cute pictures on Instagram, like this one that she captioned, 2021, you brought me the highest life-changing affirming highs and the lowest gut-wrenching soul-breaking lows. Although in grieving, I'm also in glorious awe and thankfulness to you God. They say all endings are also beginnings. 2021
2022, I'm choosing to be excited about what the beginning of this next act of life brings. Lord, I trust you. Devon on the other hand, posted this picture of him crying and captioned it. I took this picture a few months ago. I'm not much of a crier so, in a moment of deep pain and peace, I took this picture. It captures best how I feel. I share this with you because it is the most honest way to start this year. I know we are starting a new year yet, I don't wish you a happy new year. I wish you a happy true year. So yeah, Devon appeared to be more hurt by the divorce. According to several reports, the real reason Megan got tired and couldn't stand being married to Devon anymore is that she was tired of the minister's wife label that seemed to follow her everywhere she went. The source clarified that it's not that Megan didn't like being married to a minister because she is religious and loved God, but she never felt welcome in the church and constantly felt judged no matter what she did and how hard she tried. The source hit the spot with this because Megan had spoken on many occasions about how she was brutally attacked and criticized by the church because she didn't fit the idea of what they thought a minister's wife should be. When Devon and I got married, I no longer was receiving criticism from just people in the world. I was receiving criticism from people who were Christians. It was kind of like brutal attacks I was getting um, on my character, um, on my husband, on different things. And so I wasn't ready for that. And I think the first maybe two and a half years that I was married, I, I stopped going to church. I mean, I still very much was in my Bible and my relationship with God actually got closer. But that was not the only instance where she was judged by a member of the church because it was an ongoing criticism of her. For example, a member of the church openly criticized her for what she wore while grocery shopping. But I was at an, um, the grocery store and I looked at a newsstand and I saw you and you had your breast shot. Okay. You understand? Okay, so we gonna cover up, right? We gonna cover Wait a minute, up. wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. That ain't, that ain't, no. That is not what we're here for. She's not gonna cover up. She gonna wear what she wanna wear. In the name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Even though her husband stood up for her as he should, we can clearly see how bad Megan felt for being attacked so badly in public. The source added that the criticism was way worse in real life and that for the nine years that Megan was married to Devon, she felt like an outsider and could never fit in. Coupled with the lots of sacrifices that she had to make for the marriage, she started to feel suffocated and finally decided to end the marriage. However, they tried separation first to see if they could work on their marriage, but they finally came to the conclusion that divorce was the best option, and this is the real reason that Megan left him. Ever since the divorce, they have been speculations that the church had a huge role to play in the divorce, and there were comments like, wouldn't be surprised if the church was the reason why Megan Good and Devon Franklin split. They were gunning for her heart. Megan Good and Devon never seemed like a good pair to me. He was too into the church, and I think she just settled for that lifestyle. They were a good-looking couple, though. And I feel awful for Megan Good and Devon Franklin because divorce is never easy. My heart especially goes to Megan, because those church aunties would use her as a cautionary tale of why you should marry the good church girl. They think women who deviate from it deserve divorce. Luckily, both Megan and Devon seem to have healed from the divorce and are both doing great. But do you believe that is the real reason Megan left Devon? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check this next one out.